you know, if I was in a horror film, do you know who I would be? You know, the one with like a killer who one by one picks people off until there's just that last girl left. The strong, capable, can run for hours girl. Yeah, not her. Honestly, if I was in one of those, just kill me first. Let me be the ditzy girl who who flaps around having a lovely time before being the first to die. The thought of two hours stressing about being caught, I just couldn't be asked. He can come up to me, I'll turn around and then bang. Or chop or strangle. Actually, no, not strangle. It makes me think of this guy I was seeing, really into strangulation he was. Just before he, you know, he'd be like, tighter, tighter. Or more like, tighter, tighter. And I know some people are really into that kind of thing and more power to them, you know. But it just totally takes me out of it. I'd just be thinking, what if he actually dies? Would I be responsible? Because I'm only doing what he's telling me to do, so really it should be him who's a murderer. He's having a whale of time and I'm weighing up what's more important, his satisfaction or me not being a murderer. Oh, and I know I'm not gonna finish at this point, but what if he doesn't either? And just when I'm considering what sort of a trouser suit to wear to the murder trial, his face goes purple, like proper purple and bulgy. Kind of like the chewing gum one out of Willy Wonka. And then... <laughs> God, you know those exes and you look back on and think, I really didn't like myself much, did I? Anyway, this killer... He would do his deed and then I could just sit back, watch the rest of the film go on around my corpse. I think I could actually enjoy it that way, you know?